What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mr. Saying if I peek back with another video. As you can see, we out here under the hood. Don't mind me, I'm out of breath. I was fighting trying to get this exhaust off, but you see we got it off of there. We got it off all the way back. See, all the way to the back. So, you know, that could only mean one thing. The new exhaust is in. So, we're gonna keep going on it. Um, I got a couple of brackets on. I ain't had nowhere to put everything in my barn full, so I was said I'd go ahead and try to stick everything on. So, what we working on, they go the old pipe. But yeah, but I wanted to start it up without the the pipe on just to see what it sound like for a minute. Then I'ma uh, see. I got this bracket on. Ah, uh, got to clean that off of there. I had sprayed those holes down with liquid wrench. It must have kept running on down. But I got to get this other bracket off. I got two bolts in the top that won't quit turning, so I got to figure out what I'm gonna do to those. But that's the new bracket. This is the only, this is the only one. I only got this one left to put on. I got them on on the other side. Gotta go find, like I said, find me a rag. Well, I had one on here somewhere. <clears throat> Wipe this off, probably get it. I had to get another rag, this one ain't really doing nothing, need a paper towel or something. But, yeah. So I'm gonna go get the key and start it up for a second. Let's we'll see what it sounds like without the exhaust on and then we're gonna keep going on putting the new one on. I ain't really ain't got no help right now, my help left, so I had to wait on them to get back. So while I'm waiting on that, let's see what it sounds like without the exhaust. What's going on YouTube? Back out here the next day, working on the truck. You know, I was saying we was putting the brackets on, see we got them on. Let me get some and wipe them off, but I got them on up top and on the bottom. What I ended up having to do is, some of these bolts got stuck. So I ended up having to cut the old bolt off. Then like it's like a piece was threaded through the cab I had to cut that off and then the whole thing fell apart because what happened on the back side it was turned on the back side the um uh, I guess you I guess you call them rivets or whatever they mounted on the inside of the truck and they threaded too but they had been on there so long we started turning they had broke loose so on a couple of these see some of these go right in but on a couple of them they got nuts on the back of them but I mean it works I had to do it on both sides, on a couple of them. Out of all four brackets, I only had one where all of them came out, and there's on the other side. But at least they on there, they on there, and they good and solid. They got the stacks out here. I had to run to the store and get some high temp silicone. Right here. And we gonna beat this around the bevel part right here. I'm trying to pull it off with one hand. Like this side is bevel, so it's gonna slide down in the inside of here. So what we're gonna do is take some of this red silicone and just go around the outside of this. I ain't gonna put a lot, just one little bead all the way around. I'm gonna slide in there. I mean, they good and tight, but you know, never hurt to have a little bit of insurance on it. But these leaking chrome stacks, as you can see. They send you everything you need. I got all of my little brackets and stuff. Uh, so here's the brackets to mount to the truck. Hold on, I, I left all this stuff sitting out in the sun while I run the store, ran to the store, this one got hot, but ain't too bad. So you put your bolts, they give you a little tube of anesthes. This right here is for you, you know, you put it on your boats, keep them from getting stuck. 
These right here, I believe, this is for your clamp, right? These for the clamps right here, these carriage bolts for the clamp. And these right here mounts to the, you go on the bracket to the cab, and they see they got little lock, lock nuts on them, so. But I'm gonna get this put together, and then I'll be right back and show y'all what I done done. All right, YouTube. I got one mounted together. The bracket is on. I give you all this messy stuff with these nice shiny pipes. Like it's in a seed, so it's messy now, but it probably come, you know, save your butt down the road. Gotta get a microfiber or something to wipe them off. But I'm gonna try to get this one stood up right quick. See, see, not get it on straight. Hopefully, everything lined up right. I'm gonna go get my dad to come and stick the bolts down while I lift it up. So when I get to the map, I ain't got no map to bounce y'all, so y'all can watch. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll be right back, guys. All right, YouTube, I'm back. And as you see, we got one on. We just got to put the top on the top. The top on the top, ain't that something? But I got to put the uh the top stack on. When I come back, I got to go run. And do something for my mom uh, but everything's looking good you can see how it's running down there i left the coating on when you're working on these you always leave your coating on until you get finished that way you don't scratch up your stuff even though i don't scratched it a couple times but it ain't like you did it to the point where it's noticeable now looking for my ratchet i left my ratchet on top of the truck Cause I got to put the top ones on. Try to make sure everything's snug down. These clamps, I put them today tight, but I don't over tighten them. Those should, everything should be good. So let's see. Oh, y'all can see everything looked decent. Look straight as it gonna get. <laughs> but I'm gonna go run and do this, guys. Hopefully we had to have both of them on by the evening. I know I probably won't be able to do the uh, Y pipe probably to tomorrow evening. I don't know. I had to see how time is because it's gonna start getting dark early now. So I'm gonna go run and do this for my mom and then we'll keep going when I get back, guys. I'll be back. All right, YouTube, I'm up under the bottom. Got everything connected under here. On both sides going up to those stacks. I gotta take these old brackets off, but I got all that done. The only thing I got to do now is run it from here on up to the motor. I'll probably do that tomorrow because it's about to get dark on me. So we'll see if what it sound hopefully sound like hopefully tomorrow, but everything gone. You know, of course it wanted to fight a little bit, but we got it. So we're gonna get back on it tomorrow, guys. I gotta get some more flex and some more, um, what's the name, some more clamps. I had to get a, I, got a long, I think I got a long piece to go up to the front. Uh, I had to get a 90 to come down from the turbo. So I had to get a 90 to come back across, come in right here. So we'll get that done tomorrow, guys. But so far, so good. This side had actually fell down though. Man, to get back up and push it back up on there. Hold on, I'll show you when I get from up under here. All right, YouTube, I finally got everything hooked up. I'm gonna have to pull this one up a little higher. You see it sitting low. I might take the breaker loose and pull it up, but it's all right for now, so y'all to hear it. Go to the other side, I'll show y'all the other side. Um, see all my trash. All my attempts, I had to go get a long piece to get it. But see, this is how we got it. Down through the turbo, across the top. I did a long piece of flex. Y'all can see it run down to the wire. I got to make a bracket to hold them wire pipes up. I mean, hold the pieces that run to the wire, like down here. I get some pieces to go run from up there. Where that mount that down and hold them, to hold that, oh, uh, flex up on each side. I got an idea of what I'm gonna do. So, we just wanted to show y'all that, but it's the moment of the truth, guys. We gonna see what she sound like. I just 
just had the key, y'all. I'm gonna hold on, I'm gonna find the key. It's in my pocket somewhere. Oh, just had it. Hold on, y'all. Let me get this door open. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Here we go. Let's see what she do. If y'all hear athletes, I got some stuff for Lou, so here we go. Let's see what she sound like. <laughs> go down the road. I wish my Jake was hooked up. video up guys y'all uh make sure y'all like comment subscribe 
Hope y'all enjoyed this video. We got another update coming real soon. We got one part down, it's time to move to something else. But they sounding good. The eat is eight inch Lincoln stacked by the cut with the drop elbow. They warming up pretty good. Y'all can see my reflection in there. But that's it guys. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do this floor next, but I'm going on vacation this weekend, so we'll get back started real soon, guys. Hope y'all enjoy. Please like, comment, subscribe, and keep watching the videos.